to Grind 25, 25th of the Grinds, here on the Hello Dead Imp, and I've got sub company tonight. Oh, what I don't have, though, is a topic. I haven't figured it out. Oh, by the way, I've been working on this. I, I know I need a central building. What I'm not sure about anymore is whether or not I care if it's centered. Because I'm going to do some stuff out here, too. But I'm not sure what. Do I still... What do I have for tools? Hmm. I'm relatively happy with my the chest plate. It's actually helping. <laughs> I'm not used to that. So, what should I do? And what should I talk about? I want to be a little less... Uh, a little less toxic a subject for tonight. But I'm not sure what it should be. Hmm, put some stuff away. Man, look at all that stuff. I should collect some sand and blow that up. I was thinking maybe having a sheet of leaves and you can see through it to stuff below and there's light sources down there. The one thing I can't do is build it in such a way as it's dangerous to anybody who respawns without a bed because they'll do it here. I should also maybe have someone volunteer to do that so I can see where they'll spawn and maybe how much variability there is to that spawn point. I suppose I could do it to myself, but... Oh, my ears hurt. So one thing about these headphones I don't like so much is that it makes my ears hurt. Hmm. Hmm. I have to have a grind, but I don't... I don't have a, a topic. Hmm. I could repair my bow. It's a good bow. I don't want to lose it. Let's see if it's even repairable. Tools. 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 There we go. I don't really... This should do. Let's see. How's it looking? 38! Too expensive. How, does he, how do these things work? 38. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe later. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's recap. What's happened lately? To just a few hours ago, well, maybe an hour ago, I booked flights to Cardiff from Boston. Um, let's see. Ooh, I like these. Tr I like that better, maybe. I hear you. It must be down below. But, um... Well, I... For... A life, not lifelong, but very long-term friend of mine and myself. And then I had to book uh, the same flight back one way for Caffeine, uh, who will be coming back permanently to the United States in March. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if you can tell, but right now there's some pretty severe lag going on here. Actually, it's not that bad now. But um, I'm thinking the server will probably follow her. <laughs> Excuse me, follow her here. Did I bring? I do have shears. Okay. <coughs> wow. Excuse me. I have been feeling slightly under the weather for a while, but never severely. Just very long term. A couple of weeks of mild headaches and the occasional cough, maybe a sniffle in the in the nose. But that's about it. Uh, just this general malcontent sort of feeling. I don't know. I um, don't even know where I'm going at this point. I really don't know what to do. But yeah, traveling soon and um, getting all that marriage related stuff rela uh, taken care of. I can say it is not <laughs> the sort of. Oh god, I don't even know how to put it. It's gonna. Uh, I think I already said this before, but ceremonies and traditions in general bug me. I don't like them. They're usually. I don't. I, I can't imagine like them. I'm, it's kind of surprised me that anybody likes them, but I'm just weird, so ignore me. But it's the thing you gotta do. 
and go through that whole thing so you can be with the person. It is good. Oof. Oh, but oh my gosh, the prices. When we first started seeing each other, you know, there was a bunch of back and forth. She'd come over here for three months on a tourist visa, which is, you know, the maximum you can stay on such a thing. And I'd go over there for a couple of weeks for the occasional vacation. And, you know, it was always expensive, but the British to, or the pound to the dollar conversion was about a buck, uh, buck fifty per pound when I first started out. Excuse me, and flights would cost about six hundred and fifty, bo um, like round trip. Now it's pulling nine hundred round trip, and British pound is or it's like a, almost not quite a buck seventy five per pound now. So food and hotels and all that stuff over there are going to cost that much more. And there's really probably no end to that because the United States is not really doing. Well, it's sort of in this depression, not not in that sense, but sort of like uh, China. China is artificially depressing its wages so that it has an essentially unfair trade advantage in any sort of free trade state. Their prices will be so ridiculous after all that transition that nobody else can compete. So mathematically, it's kind of a good idea, but it's really a kind of a terrible thing to do to other people. And I, to a certain degree, America's probably trying to do the same thing so that they can become more competitive rather than less. The only problem is, in order to do that, the people have to kind of have to suffer. This is unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, after, without going on too wide a tangent, after all that, I think we'll return up to the Boston area and we'll have a legal version of we're gonna have like over in Cardiff we're gonna have you know walk through ceremony for the benefit of friends and family over there so they can enjoy it <coughs> and celebrate excuse me for coughing um, but the legal version has to happen over here according to the visa that we've applied for so we'll come back and since it's my native state I haven't lived there in a few years I would like to go back at some point but since we haven't lived there for a few years, leave me alone! Um, I'm thinking we'll ha do the legal version of the marriage thing in in uh, Maine, which is cool. Maine is a place that is also suffering, but it is also a great place. It deserves assistance and help and leg up, so to speak. Oof. It's a good place. None of the mountains are particularly majestic. They're 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 worn down, you know, from you know, when the uh when there were glaciers a mile thick over the entire landscape. Yeah, that that does things to mountains. Okay. Uh, in fact, actually we have this sort of not exactly unique, but relatively unique. Come on. See the lag? It's pretty horrible. Uh, relatively unique system or mountain structure <coughs> hill structure I guess in the state of Maine where and and you know New Hampshire too because it's really part of the same landscape um, where the tops of the mountains are bald because there's there's um, if you head further south the mountains all have sedimentary material still on top of them which it gives you know, nutrition for plants and trees and stuff to grow from. But in Maine, the tops of the mountains are largely right down to bedrock, which does not give plants all that much purchase. God. Oh, this lag's horrible. Uh, and that's because, essentially, the, the ancient glaciers... I mean, a mile thick, thicker than the mountains themselves are tall. I mean, the tallest mountain in Maine is not quite a mile tall. It's like Katahdin, I believe. Uh, Mount, M Mount Washington in New Hampshire, just very close by, I'm not sure, but it might be taller. I mean, it's definitely taller than Katahdin, but I'm not sure if it's taller than a, a mile. Uh, regardless, ooh, 
experience points. Um, you know, that's how thick the ice was. And all that pressure and all that weight grinding and moving against the, uh, the mountains tore away all the relatively soft um, sedimentary rock that had at one point been there. So, ooh, I actually hit something, I think. It's hard to judge when they move, when their the lag makes them lurch suddenly. Anyways, so yeah, the, the sedimentary layers were stripped right off the mountains and dragged and crushed and deposited out to sea, which is one of the reasons why the land offshore is so rich and why we're so well known for uh, sand. I don't need a pumpkin. Why we're so well known for like our lobster and our, our shellfish and, and fish back before the entire area was dramatically and fatally overfished. Uh, we were known for our fish as well. And that's because the, the, there's so much rich nutrients deposited out there from the glaciers stripping it off the land. But uh, also, there's a feature in, geologically in Maine where you have south face cliffs. Um, and it's for the same reason. The, the, the glaciers, for the most part, came from the north. Probably not precisely, but mostly to the north. And... See? And so the glacier, the huge weight in the movement, would put pressure on the northern face. And when you push against something, well, sure, it cracks it and, and you know, it sort of has this, like, a... Uh, oh, what am I thinking? It's sort of a... wears it down, for sure. Let me just say that. It doesn't polish it, but it wears it down. But when it comes over the top of the mountain, it then begins to pull on the southern face. And that's a whole different set of forces, which effectively tear the southern face apart. And so all over the state of Maine and in similar locations, you will see this scenario where the southern faces are a flat or flat-ish um, flat uh, set of cliffs. Not necessarily straight up and down, though there are places like Ragged Jack where that is the case. It's a good several hundred feet straight up and down. And always at the bottom and near and strewn away is this um, a debris field of giant rocks. And so you can have caves in Maine, so to speak. They're not, they're not like, you know, Carlsbad cavern kind of things. They are the open spaces in between where these giant rocks have fallen down atop one another. So it's very angular and very narrow and unpredictable. But there are spots uh, where you can sort of climb through them. Sort of a poor man spelunking, I suppose. Uh, you get a lot of that. They're called tumble downs for the most part. Um, a lot of, in fact, there's more than one mountain in the area called tumble down for that reason. Ragged Jag is more or less an extreme example. But there are others, like um, in my own... No! Oh! Jeez, I heard you. Um, where I lived for a long time, just across the river in Dixfield, is a place called Whittemore's Bluff, which is a tumble down. It's not as accentuated as... Whoa! I hear things. Die, please. Those things are pretty fast. Oh, good, the sun's coming up. Uh, and they had a pretty, pretty decent set of caves un in the in the midst of the tumble down, uh, which I've climbed through a few times. There's one spot that's a good twenty feet tall, like a cliff inside the cave system, and there was this groove on the wall that you basically had to stick a hand and a foot in, so you had any kind of leverage to make your way up. And that was pretty cool. Of course. People being crap, you'd find things like beer cans and stuff like that in there. Come on. Holy cow, I really want this resolved. It's been two days like this. Whew. I'm not sure if I'm in my territory or, or Oplex, but since I'm not really doing any building or excessive mining, it shouldn't be a, a big deal either way. Ah, 
so yeah I don't even know how long I've been recording probably not very long I'll give it another 10 minutes that's a pretty safe estimate so 7.23 p.m. then I'm going to switch over to some Python work working on the uh, medical co data collation project I'd say it helped with still hasn't left me with a chance to finish the Geo Django tutorial which I would like to have done mm, after I said I wouldn't mind and then I can't pick it up oh, okay I don't need spider eyes right now we'll just do this uh, yeah so I'll, and I'll watch Yes Man it's a Jim Carrey movie I have not seen yet by some stretch of the imagination I haven't actually seen it so I'll watch that and do some Python and eat some ice cream, which I'm not supposed to do, but I'm going to do anyways. It's a neat, neat looking little little cave. Ooh. I don't see much remarkable in there, but that's still nice. Let's see what we got. Is this even a cave? I mean, not really. That's kind of cool. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. There. Okay. Maybe I'll come back and add this to the Hello Deneb map later. Oh, well. What? Did he say anything? No, he didn't. All right. Well. Hmm. Chickens. Oh, I don't have room for meat either. I'm not thinking this through. Oh, you know one thing. Well, no. Hmm. I don't need seeds. Oh, but I do not. Oh, what can I live without? How do I have so many of these? <clears throat> Bumpkiss. All right, well, we'll live without those for now, too. All right, so I guess this is one of them random episodes. It's just as well. I don't really have my mind on much right now. So for our trip to Cardiff, we still have to um, book a hotel, probably get a rental car, too. That's going to be painful. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. So... Not that this is really relevant to any of you out there, I don't suppose, but Caffeine and I met because we were both sort of patronizing the same online comic. Uh, it's a, it's a, actually, I recommend you read it. It's a little strange, being that it is somehow the amalgamation of ufology and romance. <laughs> but she, the, the author, uh, Emmy, is actually a fantastic storyteller and so even though the content is weird it's actually compelling too and that's really good and we were both i don't even remember how i found the cart the uh the comic in the first place but i did and sometime thereafter i saw links to the because uh, what she would do is she'd live stream um when she's drawing she'd, she'd do these live streams and you could watch her draw, and she'd play music that she likes. And I've actually bought a number of soundtracks that I heard through her thing. But, um, you know, she'd draw, and people would chat with each other and with her while she draws. And it was all pretty cool. She still does that, I think. Um, though I haven't been around very often. The, the crowd is a little young and sometimes a bit, I don't know, <laughs> oversexed, I guess you could say. Um, and I, I don't really want to interact with that, per se. But... She does a really fantastic job, so I'm just running around in snowy circles. And anyways, as I was saying, this is this is a cool spot too. Let me. This is a very good spot. I do not know whose territory it's in. Hmm. Those are both pluses. This is probably not a good sign. Uh, once I put it on Hello Deneb, I'll know. Anyways, I can go down here. Um, I saw s pencil sketches of some of the characters from the comic. They were, it was basically fan art, and it was I really liked the style. And I was writing my novel at the time. 
and I, I, I knew I wanted to sort of self-publish it through the Kindle in episodic, you know, like five chapter episodes, which is what I effectively did before deciding I wanted to rewrite it and tore it out, you know, all down. But I asked this person, would they be willing uh, under commission to do some sketches of my characters and um, from my book and like the, you know, an illustration to open up each episode. And she was, of course, interested in that, and things went from there, and, you know, I had to describe a lot of stuff and the background of the story to her um, to make it all make sense and stuff like that. So there's a lot of discussion, and, you know, it went on like that for quite a while. And it, it grew from there that we got to talking about other things and then decided to meet, which was <coughs> quite a leap, you know, given that we're on two sides of an ocean, but... That worked out, obviously, quite well. She hasn't been doing much uh, drawing for me lately, and it's probably just well because it might be a weird, not really a conflict of interest, but just different. Um, I don't know about this. I don't think I can make that. Not without feather falling. Watch me fall off the side. Oof. Oof. Oh. So yeah, and as a result, because it's essentially this comic artist's, artist's fault that we met at all, she has been invited to come to the sort of, not really mock, but sort of mock wedding in Cardiff. And she's definitely interested, and we will be springing for her fare and hotel. So I think we're just waiting to hear whether or not she can find a dog sitter for her, um, for her dog. That's about it. I can make us. Oof. I'm glad physics doesn't work near water. That's awesome. Yeah, so. Hello. It's a fairly random amount of damage per shot, I'm discovering. See? A lot of times these guys are one shot deals. And yet this time he not only withstood the shot, but also the fire. Hmm. So yeah, she's uh, she'll be coming. Uh, I think probably ninety percent sure she's coming at this point. She's definitely interested. I think it's just that one wild card to consider. Moonwalking, chicken. It's too dangerous to let live. Okay, this is not a bad spot. Her said and so. I think the odds are good. I'm not. In, I'm probably actually in Oplex territory at this point. Well, there's a nice mountain. Yep, this episode is definitely random. Probably then, what, number two? I think I've only done one random episode before. I've just, I've been kind of out straight this week, so I haven't had the real good chance to think about a, an extra topic, and I have run out of time to record for it. See, it's almost too busy over there. Oh, you know, one thing I want in this game is vistas. There was an old game, Asheron's Call 1, not 2. 2 I never played, and there's something about it that just looked wrong to me. But Asheron's Call 1. Hello? What's going on? Okay. Hey, I can turn that off now. No, oh, actually, you're wrong. Okay. Asheron's Call 1... I never really got the game, and I didn't advance very far, but one thing I loved doing was just exploring until I found an <coughs> an interesting spot that had a real view, a good view. And most games have never tried to replicate that. I mean, basically, the further out it went, the more simplistic the, uh, the render map was. However, whatever technology, probably just uh, a f uh, mesh. But... They had managed to pull it off in a way that allowed you to see really far into the distance, and you could see majestic vistas and stuff like that. I want that in this stupid game, okay? I want that. I understand it probably is impossible, but I want it anyway. Oof. You know what? Time's up. Time's up. So I haven't really accomplished anything. Hunted a few things, left a few things behind. Talked about random stuff, which is perfectly okay, especially for Friday. Yeah. So I'm going to have to head back to Origin and uh, be ready to do more work. 
uh, there. I should also really consider finishing the uh, Tire Nujeta, Tire Nujeta, being done with that. I, I have a better idea now of the shape of the top of it in my head, but I actually have to experiment with uh, pulling it together. So I'm not sure which one. I mean, I can't finish number the second project in a reasonable amount of time. It's going to take several more episodes to do, so I should probably just finish finish a uh, number project number one and 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 let it go to bed all right well that's good enough uh thanks for watching and uh have a good weekend and please come again damn it